Last time on Babs Bear Talk. <laughs> so let's check on Joel. You want a water? Let me get your water. Yeah. Want some cold water, babe? Ha ha. Mommy says be a dog, don't come in here. Ha ha. Joel, what are you doing? Joel. Good. What are you doing? Just that. I'm just trying to get some for us. He's always like finding mixtures for me. Like, you want to grow your hair? I found this random mixture of garlic That's with cat pee. <laughs> Jada, garlic with cat pee. Two of the worst the, smelling things in the world, huh? Called it in the, in the, in the garage. They used, they used everything. Oh, I have to call AT and T. What? Even after I canceled Uverse with these idiots, they're still charging me for Uverse from September the middle to October the middle. I'm like, what the hell? Oh, so you better keep your receipts because the girl at UPS. Oh, I have my receipts. Receipt. Girl, I keep my receipts. You I know. Wednesday morning guys Wednesday September the 28th um, I really have not had an opportunity to vlog because there's nothing new going on <laughs> in my life we go to work for 8 in the morning and we print those bottles all day long we leave at 4 we rush home we eat something we go to the gym and then I come home and I edit so it's like, what am I gonna record? So, so far what you've seen is me on the machine <laughs> and Joe running the machine and I'm yelling, help me, help me. <laughs> so we're done with, uh, Joe, did we print three pallets already? Three out of 13. And Joe packed one and a half by himself. No one has come to help us yet out of the three children because they're all in school. And yesterday when Jada had a day off, I preferred for her to stay home and cook so that we could have food when we got home. You know, you, you kind of have to pick your things. <laughs> so as long as the Wednesday video is up on time, I feel good. Um, today what I'm gonna edit is the video with the tasting of the chips, the chips that Sam sent for us. The kids did a show on that and I'm gonna edit that and probably upload it for maybe Friday of this week. I'm excited because Jada told me, the, the sun is probably like casting bad on my face right now. Jada told me that Colin's sister Megan wants to come and cook with me on the show. She's vegan and she recently started to eat fish so she calls herself Segan. But um, in any case she would come make something vegan so let her get the cussing. I don't try to make too many vegan things at my show because the vegans are like a really really weird bunch where they'll cuss you if you get anything wrong about it and I'm tired of being cussed on YouTube honestly there's no job in the world that you have to do where people feel the right to just come and cuss at you and expect that you're supposed to just take that and grin you know seriously if I were if I were working in anybody else's warehouse that's not my warehouse my boss wouldn't be cussing at me every day you know and if he did I'd quit and go find another job so anyways I really want to go to Bible study this evening I've missed church two Sundays in a row and uh, what they're teaching on right now is really helping me because they're teaching about your soul your spirit and your body and what happens to you you know when you die and how you're supposed to live and keep the soul under control and you know of course we all wonder what happens after you die because mommy's gone and I wonder where is she you know so anyways I'll catch you guys at lunchtime 
it is almost four o'clock there's another police chase i forgot that i was recording a police chase earlier this week i recorded it on my phone and the guy tried to jump off of the freeway overpass at the end of the chase i guess he was despondent because he had been to prison and he was out and his life was supposed to change and then nobody helped and I guess he couldn't get a job because he had a record and he was homeless and sleeping in his car and I don't know if he did it just because he was despondent or maybe he planned it because he wanted to go back to jail or to prison where he could get three hots on a cot you know but um, towards the end I kind of felt sorry for the dude but they saved his life and of course he was a white dude so they didn't shoot him even though he had um, a weapon in his hand which was his windshield wiper blade from a distance to me it looked like a sword but they were saying it was a wind I mean the, the guy from the helicopter could see that it was a windshield wiper blade except when it comes to black people they can't ever tell if that's a nub they have in their hand or you know what it is <laughs> what it is but they shoot them though but they didn't shoot this dude and they did everything they could to save his life so there's another chase going on this guy apparently vandalized the hotel room and so now he's on the um, run on the 405 freeway which is the worst time of the day four o'clock in the evening to try to do a police chase on the 405 traffic is at a standstill <sighs> so anyways you guys I think we might be seeing um, parts of Brian Brian's family again like four members of the family might be coming through in October to spend one night so they could go on a cruise that's so exciting so exciting I'll tell you guys um, more as I know more and daddy should be reaching the um, the border of Belize and Mexico early tomorrow morning which it can't be quicker for me because the two days that he's been going through Mexico I've been so worried <sighs> anyways I want you guys to be praying for two of our family when I say our family I mean the people right here at the vlog that comment uh, Sam I know you've had some health issues it seems like you're doing a little bit better but we, we are keeping you in prayer and we need to keep Helen in prayer okay so I won't divulge people's health issues unless you guys want to put it on the page yourself but just know that two of our family members are in dire need of prayer right now and for all of you that watch me that pray please pray with me until I tell you everybody is well okay because we need this little family to stay together I have to come meet all of you guys all right so um, I'm gonna go home right now and I'm gonna sit down first of all just sit down I almost passed out today it got so hot in that building because it's so humid today and I felt overheated it could have been a hot flash who knows you guys know I'm 50 and all I know is that I was grabbing onto the stool and I saw darkness and so Joe had to come and grab me and get some cold water and then afterwards I ate some grapes and I felt refreshed and I feel okay and then Joe started to get overheated and so he didn't pass out though so he's like I, I I'm done I quit at 3.33, we shut off the machines. Couldn't go anymore. I mean, we started early today though, huh, babe? And how much did we do? About nine. nine how much did we do? How much case? It seems like we started earlier than nine because when 10 o'clock came, we were already there two hours watching Araxia and them at that coffee shop takeover. They've been moving my sweet Mario around on the roster at, at work. He's not on in the morning now, so I don't know when he's on. He's probably on right now at 5, huh? 35 cases. We did 35 cases today out of, I don't know how many. It's a lot. 250 maybe we have to do. <sighs> We're getting there. No, we We're getting there. We already did 100 cases since we started. No, we didn't. We did four pallets already? Pilots. We're on the fifth pilot. Are you kidding me? Oh, he said we already did a hundred cases out of the 250. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You got a oh. Tomorrow we might have to go in early and just pack some first, so because we're running out of boxes for them to drop into. And um, I sent um a, a little email into the the channel that Mario works for because they put something on the bottom of the screen saying we'd like to hear from you um send us your photos and your comments and they put an email well that was their sorry mistake because i sure did send them a quick email saying hey this is what i do i've i've met aroxia mara has been to my house i've been watching you guys since 1986 and i really i my nose is so tickling me to sneeze 
But they say when you sneeze, you'll be kissed by a fool. Kiss me, Joe. Kiss me, Joe. <laughs> Joe don't even know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> my mind's always different. <laughs> oh my goodness. Everybody wanted to make sure that you got better. Are you better, my love? I'm pretty good now. You've been better since Monday morning, though, right? Mm -hmm. I started to feel a little better from Sunday. It's like Sunday. Yeah, that day that we um, that day that we um, recorded the show, me and Jory, Joe was already feeling a lot better. But you know, I decided to give him a break. You know, he's been so cool to do that with me for every week. And I'm gonna see um, if I can have uh, Colin's sister, Megan, come and do the next one with me because she asked if she could come do it. So this the, uh, these Wednesday videos are perfect for when guests come. You know. As soon as I get the money to buy two microphones and a mixer for the microphones to go through, that's 90 plus 90 plus 50. That's what I need to do it. As soon as I get that money, I'm going to invite the mayor to come. I don't want the mayor to come and then we have to shut off the air because of the, you know, the noise the air conditioning makes and then she's boiling and, you know, I'd rather us have mics on. If the AC comes on, we're okay because the mics are pinned to us. Yeah, so anyways, <sighs> we're almost home. By the way, it's not when you sneeze that you're going to be kissed by a fool. It's when your nose itches, you're going to be kissed by a fool. I had the thing wrong. All these little Belizean sayings. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired, guys. It's Wednesday. I'm not going to go to the gym today because I'm going to go to Bible study tonight. I'm always trying to get these lights to show you guys how pretty my city is. I'm coming from the other city where the church was, where the church is. <laughs> I went to church tonight. And this is my city. But I don't think the camera does the lights justice. So um, there's a person that comes to my cooking channel whenever I put up the new videos. And I don't know if it's a boy or a girl because they have the kind of name that could be boy or girl. Kind of like, you know, how Ashley is boy or girl. And they don't have a picture. But every time I put up something, they pick my recipe apart. Oh, somebody didn't know you. And so I was trying to, like, um, remember the person's last name because I'm almost certain that person watches the vlogs. But if it's the same person, they say, like, the nicest things at the vlogs. So I'm like, are they trying to toy with me at the cooking channel? Is it the same person? Well, they came back today and they said something. And I was going to respond. Because they really like trip me off at a time when I'm tired and everything else. And then I remembered that Dr. Mike teaches that when a critic has your attention, they have power over you. Mm. So I'm like, I'm not going to give this critic an attention. And he also teaches that critics are not there to help you get to your destination. They're there to stop you. So you know what I did? I banned that person from the channel. Because I have the power to do that. And I'm not subscribing to the belief anymore that every view is a view is a good view. It's not. The only views that counts are the ones that watches the commercials anyways. And 10 to 1, a critic is not watching the commercials. So bye-bye. And I'm going to wait and see if that person writes here at the vlog. And I don't care if they write something nice. I'm banning them from this channel too. So after it happens, then I'll be able to share with you guys the name of the person because I don't want them to get any kind of gratification from knowing that I've been paying attention to what they're writing at my cooking channel. So you guys wait and see. At work on Thursday morning, we can't print today because, well, at least for this morning we can't print because we're running out of space. So Joe says we have to stop and pack some. And let me show you how much is done. I understand, I understand. So this one there, those boys are having a party over there. One is done, two is done. These are unprinted, right? Joe, these are unprinted here, right? In that corner. And then this is done, packing. So we printed four pallets and he packed two and a half about. So I'm going to go start Jada's box so she can know what to do. So Jada came to help us, but she's leaving now because she's going to go cook 
and I asked her to record what she's making so I can have a show for Monday. Hey, Purdy. Hi. <laughs> You're gonna go home and make soy sauce from scratch, though. Yeah. Holler. Bye. Bye. When the red button is on. Yeah. Okay. Back on the boat. Splash. What's the splash? Yeah.